Charlie, Bronwyn, and Ben are lost at sea. Charlie, Charlie Bronwyn, Bronwyn, and Ben are lost at sea? We'll need the helicopter. Elvis, you call Tom Thomas. Right, Sam! Wallaby one. Charlie, Bronwyn, and Ben are lost at sea. On my way. I'll take Juno. You two take Neptune. Looks like we'll need the new sonar. brother's the sailor I know he is, they'll be pretty close to that whale. Scanning for the whale now, Sam. Can't see anything. Wait, I can see a shape. Yes, that looks like a whale. Four degrees south. Did you hear that, Tom? On the way. The whale! I must be close! There they are, Tom! Is everybody all right? Yes, Sam. A bit cold and wet, but all right. Come on, let's get you all on to Neptune. These pins mark all the chewing incidents that have happened in Ponty Pandy today. That's a lot of chewing, Sam. It is, Elvis. There's a very hungry creature out there. And according to this map, it's heading towards the picnic area. But what kind of animal could it be? Is it working, Hannah? Yeah, Dad. We're online now. I've got all my safety gear, and I can eat my packed lunch while we fly over Ponty Pandy Mountain. Can, can we, we go, go too? too? Maybe next time. We can't carry everybody, but that's why I've got this camera. You can watch it all happen on the laptop. Ooh! Go on, Hannah. Show them how it's done. Okay, here, look. While Mandy and my dad fly over Ponty Pandy Mountain, we'll be able to see everything they see. So it, uh, it'll be just like flying, but without actually going anywhere? Exactly. Wow. It looks like cloud scrapers going up. You can see the treetops. That doesn't look right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Flammykins doesn't have a pilot's license. <gasps> cloud scraper is floating away. So, you won't be flying to the top of Ponty Pandy Mountain. After all, Mandy. No, but Lammykins will. Go, Lammykins! Look, he's chewing through the ropes. He could fall to the ground. <gasps> I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Lammykins has taken off in Joe's cloud scraper, and there's no licensed pilot on board. Lammykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper, and there's no licensed pilot on board! The Cloud Scraper's heading for Ponty Pandy Mountain! We need to get to the Mountain Railroad, and fast! Tom? 
going to need the helicopter. Fishing net. How did that get there? Hmm. I can't steer the boat at all. I need to call the fire station for some help. Keep pumping, Cridlington. We need to make sure it's working well. Yes, sir. You never know when. <laughs> My word! Whatever Norman Price has done, he's done it already. Charlie, a fishing net has got tangled around the rudder of his boat, and he can't steer, so they're drifting on the open sea. I wonder how the fishing net got around the rudder. Well, I wouldn't doubt that Norman Price had something to do with it. Penny, we need you to scuba dive and untangle the net. Elvis, you go too. Yes, yes sir. sir. Isn't me. Don't worry, Charlie. I'll have this fixed in no time. Make sure the engine's switched off. Righto, Penny. Charlie, I got one. Ooh, 
I can't wait to see it. I bet it's really flippy and flappy. Oh, well done, Mandy. One, two, three, four, five. Coming! Ready or not! <gasps> Lily! Where are Mom's keys? Oh, not you as well. I can't believe anyone would find this movie sad. No, it's not the movie. It's smoke. Fire! Okay, listen to me. The fire is blocking the back door, so let's calmly leave through the front door. It's locked! And there's no key! The windows are locked too! We can't get out! Nobody panic. I want everyone to lie flat on the floor, heads down, to avoid breathing in any smoke. And I'm gonna call Fireman Sam. Oh, yes. That's a good tittle. Ready, aim, emergency! There's a fire at the floods, and the ladies are locked inside! There's a fire at the floods house! The ladies are trapped inside! Let's go, Elvis! Does that mean we've won? Wait a minute, that's my house! Again! Woohoo! <laughs> Stay back, Mike. The keys are missing. Mike, have you got your keys? Oh, uh, um. Penny, get everyone ready to exit. Ready, Elvis? Can we have the children first? Everyone keep low. Take Sam's hand. He will guide you through the smoke. Lily, you first. Mandy, next. Take my hand, Lily. I'll help you. Come on, Lily. Don't be scared. <laughs> That's everyone. Stand back. Driftwood! Okay, let's get to work. Um, Penny? You know those bolts? Not now, Elvis. What happened? That's what I was trying to tell you. I made the bolts fall out. I'm so sorry, Penny. It's all my fault. Don't worry, Elvis. It's my fault, too. I should have listened to you. Looks like Penny and Elvis might be in trouble. Tom, we're going to need the helicopter. Well done, Elvis. But what are we going to do now? Without those bolts, we'll never be able to fix the motor. Oh, it's Sam. Looking for these? Oh, thank you, Sam. I'm sorry, I got it all wrong. I tried to take your advice and stay calm, but the bolts came whoa, out. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Elvis. Right now, Mandy's lost at sea, and she needs our help. You're right, Sam. I really need to stay cool and calm now. 
Yeah, all fixed. Now let's see Mandy. Well done, Elvis. Great job of fixing. Ahoy, Sam. Hi. Hi. It's Mandy. And her mast is made out of driftwood. That's brilliant. Clever girl. Need any help? Thank you, Mandy, but Sam already... Uh, I think we should let Mandy save the day, huh, Penny? Uh, I mean, yes, Mandy, that would be wonderful. Lead us home, Captain Mandy. There she is! to his day at the fire station. He thinks he might be a fireman one day. Oh, imagine that. My Norman, a fireman. I'd be so proud. Oh, look. Here he comes now, driving the fire engine. <gasps> Norman's driving a fire engine. Oh, dear. I got to go by a little son. And that's how you become a great firefighter. <laughs> Stand back, pioneers! Looks like we have an emergency! Norman Price has just been spotted driving Jupiter through Ponty Pandy. Norman Price has just been spotted driving Jupiter through Ponty Pandy, but he was here just a minute ago. I'll stay here and keep an eye on the rest of the pioneers. Precious Norman? What are you all staring at? Surprise! Yes! What on earth? You're our one millionth customer, Dillis. And here's a big surprise for you. Ooh, that is a surprise. A great big cake. Oh, if only my Norman could see this. Norman, jump out of the cake. I can't get out. I thought I just heard my Norman's voice. You did. He's in the cake. You baked my Norman in a cake? Ooh. No. I made the cake out of wood. What? Ooh. It was supposed to be a... Oh, don't forget it. It's stuck. Let me out. Dillis, wake up. Oh, sniff this. Should I get the party horns now? I smell smoke. So do I. Oh, no. I forgot to turn off the oil. Evacuate. Quick, everyone. Head for the door. Abandoned cake. I'll call Fireman Sam. What's going on? Oh, no. My Norman's stuck in that cake. Don't worry, Dillis. I'll push the cake out. Right. We will now demonstrate the procedure for extricating someone's foot from half a bucket of mussels. Are you ready, Norse? I certainly am. Excellent. Uh, I actually can't get this thing off. 
A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe? And Norman Price is trapped in a giant cake? A fire at the Whole Fish Cafe! And Norman Price is trapped inside a giant cake! My poor Norman! Oh. Mike's still in there trying to get Norman out! Stand back, everybody! <laughs> it's no good! I can't get him out! Stand back, Mike. I'll do it. Surprise! Oh, dear. Come on, Norman. Let's get you out of here. Are <laughs> you the one Millian's customer, Sam? It's Mike Flirt. He's in trouble. Sam, Penny, it's Mike Flirt. Something's happened to him on the road back from Newtown. Mike? Mike! Where could he be? This is very strange. Norman, Derek, did either of you see what happened to Mike? He went that way. He was being chased by a giant snowball. What? Mike could be down there injured and freezing. We have to get to him, and fast. But that slope is too dangerous for Jupiter to drive down, Sam. You're right, Penny. Only one thing for it. I need a blanket, a rope, a warm drink, and your snowboard, Norman Price. Wow! Look at that! Fireman Sam's better than Billy Bob Blizzard! Mike, are you okay? Huh? I am fine, but I'm so cold. I'm going to lower you down a blanket and some hot cocoa to keep you warm until we can get you out of there. Penny, it's okay, Mike's not hurt, but he's fallen into a hole. So we're going to need Tom Thomas to winch him out. I'll put a call out right away. Here comes Tom Thomas now. We'll have you out in no time, Mike. I'm lowering the harness now, Sam. Out of my way. It's not junk. Well, they're no match for my bare hands. They're getting all tangled up. Move over, mate. You're messing up my gear. If I was here first. Whoa! What the grizzlies? We're really stuck, eh? I'll have to phone for help. <gasps> no signal. Whoa! Well, I think there's one thing you and I can agree on. We don't have long before this branch breaks. Kids, you better get help. Okay, Pioneers. What should we do? I can see Ponty Pandy from here. Oh, you're right. I can even see the fire station. Hey, maybe we can use my sunglasses to flash a signal. That's an awesome idea, Sarah. We can use the Morse code from my book. Oh, something's flashing on the mountain, sir. Oh, you're right. Three short flashes, three long flashes, uh, three short flashes. <gasps> That's Morse code for SOS. SOS, sauce. Does someone want sausages? 
No, Cridlington. SOS is the signal people send when someone's in trouble. A distress signal from someone on Ponty Pandy Mountain. That signal must have come from the Ponty Pandy Pioneers, sir. They're on an excursion with Tom and Moose. Sam, you and Panny take Venus. You haven't a moment to lose. Don't think this branch will hold out much longer, mate. Did someone call for help? Sam! Penny! It's Tom and Moose! Oh, we're glad to see you! Stand back, kids. Penny, I'm going to have to use the tree spurs. But we haven't tested them yet. We don't have any choice. Okay, Penny, the spurs are holding. I'm going up, you keep the safety line clear. to make this snowman, Norman? Well, I need your best hat with the feathers on, and that coat you wore to Auntie Phyllis's wedding. Hold your horses, and, uh, Norman Price. You're not taking my best hat and coat to put on a snowman. But, Mom, I want this to be the best snowman ever. You'll use what I used to make a snowman when I was a little girl. Coal for the eyes, a carrot for the nose, and a bucket for the hat. Mom, but our snowman will be so lame. It'll be fine, Norman. What? Oh, Trevor Evans. <laughs> well, really. <laughs> Come on, Mandy. Let's go make a snowman. Oh, Trevor. You're like an Arctic explorer. Ooh, look. That would be perfect for the snowman. But isn't that your mom's best scarf? And then I'll fix you a nice hot drink <sighs> to warm your cockles. I, uh, I don't have any cockles. She only said we couldn't take her hat and coat. She never said anything about her scarf. Hmm, are you sure it's okay, Norman? I'm positive. <laughs> Firefighters, due to the snowy conditions in Ponty Pandy, I'm afraid to inform you that the power to the fire station has gone down. <laughs> Redlington, will you shiver a bit more quietly, please? I can't hear myself think. S sorry, sir. I can't help it. I, I'm really cold. So if we don't have any electricity, does that mean we can't get any emergency calls, sir? <laughs> no, Sam. We can take the calls on the emergency backup line. But in the meantime, we have no heating at all. Cradlington, will you please stop your teeth from chattering? I'm trying, sir. I know. Why don't I get a nice fire going, and we can all huddle around it and keep warm? <laughs> I think my teeth would really like that, Sam. Ah, there. It just needs the finishing touch. Uh, perfect. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day.